Hi guys, it is another hot, sticky, miserable day here in the end times in paradise in Garfield, Texas on this steamy, wet bulb. Wednesday, September 9th, 2018, so I have got to somehow find the energy to crank up my gas-sucking lawnmower one more time before the next storm of the century hits and then go apply, well, investigate applying for an $11 an hour job. Uh, but before I do, I can do what I do every day and that's continue with my Doomer headlines where I simply go on the pages of the mainstream media to see how fucked we are. I just finished the uh, climate change Roundup portion. So now we're going to look at various other ways that this planet is fucked this morning with, with no help from climate change. But I want to thank Business Insider magazine uh, for uh, offering me finally some humor to brighten my day. Y you know, I, th those businessmen ha have it so tough dealing with all of these negative eco Nazis, y you know talking about all of this crap like, I don't know, dead whales or whatever. Uh, that, those pesky uh, eco-Nazis talking about. So Business Insider uh, wants to put a big smile on our face today with this hilarious knee slapper of a story. And, and I laughed so hard. I, I hope I could get through this, this article with, without just erupting in, in, into laughter. So somehow I'm going to try to uh, make it through this article uh, without falling out of my chair laughing. Take it away, Business Insider, and cheer us all up today. Put a smile on our face. <clears throat> Hilarious video shows the moment workers tried and failed to unload a dead whale's body into a dumpster only for the two-ton carcass to flop, to flop out onto the pavement. <laughs> oh God. And, and uh, this video I sure is all over YouTube. Uh, anyway, uh, if you can't figure out the, the hilarious video itself, let's let Business Insider explain it to you. It looks like these marine biologists are going to need a bigger dumpster. <laughs> On Monday, the body of a male juvenile mink whale washed ashore in Rye, New Hampshire. By that afternoon, a front end loader was brought in to move the two-ton carcass to a trash dumpster so that it could be taken to a facility to undergo a necropsy. <laughs> but in a hilarious fail, <laughs> workers struggled to deposit the body into the dumpster. Oh God, in a hilarious fail. And reporter Jason Schreiber took video as the, as the operator tilted the forklift to drop the whale into the dumpster. But you know what guys? The dumpster was too narrow so the whale's body flopped out and flooded onto the pavement. <laughs> Sancho, what do you think? I mean, the, the dead whale's body. It, 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 it flopped out of the trash dumpster onto the pavement. All right. Oh, God. Oh, man. Ashley Stokes, manager of the Seaco Science Center and Science Center's Marine Mammal Rescue Team, said that the driver of the front end loader thought the whale carcass would drop into the bin head first with its tail hanging out. But that didn't go to plan. She called it an unfortunate 
situation. <laughs> Police Chief Kevin Walsh said that they're, quote, working on getting something bigger to transport the whale. Hmm. Oh, God. Let's see. Uh, for a little, for a little, uh, background on this, the carcass, uh, was reportedly seen floating off the shore on Sunday, wrapped in lobster fishing gear. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I have not laughed this hard. I, I, I mean, thank you, Business Insider, uh, for, for making my day on this hilarious video on a dead whale wrapped in lobster fishing gear not fitting into a garbage dumpster and flopping out with a thud onto the pavement. Okay, but anyway, after that, after that little breath of fresh air, let's get back to those pesky old, old eco-Nazis and the story right next to that breath of fresh air. There has been a concerning spike in whale deaths this month. <clears throat> At least four whales, including one that washed up in New Hampshire on Monday, have been reported dead around the Northeast since September 9th, adding to the unusual mortality event that researchers say is affecting several whale species, quoting Jennifer Goebel from NOAA, quote, we are definitely seeing more whale mortalities than we, than we have in the past, and <coughs> it is definitely concerning. Yes, uh, here is a juvenile humpback whale washed up on September 9th, a dead meat whale uh, floating around somewhere. Good God, here is another dead meat quail seen floating belly up off the New Jersey coast. Good God, uh, this goes on and on. Uh, yes. Uh, the cause of the whale's deaths is still unknown and it could take weeks to find out what killed them. The mink whale that washed up in rye may have been entangled in fishing gear. Yes, the whale deaths which occurred within days of each other come in the midst of three ongoing unusual mortality events affecting meek whales, humpback whales, and North Atlantic right whales. Yes. Uh, there has been approximately one report of a dead whale off the coast of Massachusetts every week since early August. Uh, Anyway, good God. Uh, moving along, that was certainly uh, that was certainly funny. Okay, from dead whales to dead wasps. There's quite a few versions of this story. Wasps are being wiped out just as fast as bees, but nobody cares because they are so widely hated. No shit, Sherlock. The demise of wasps is going under the radar because they are so unpopular. Yes, people have a lack of understanding about their vital role in the ecosystem, and scientists say we need to actively overhaul their negative image. There you go, talking about the wasp uh, Armageddon going on all over the planet. Uh, 
an insect Armageddon is underway due to pollution, habitat changes, overuse of pesticides, and global warming. Yes. Anyway, this is just kind of a, a, a flotsam and jetsam. I've mentioned this story many times, but here it is being repeated once again in EcoWatch. To prevent major extinction crisis, scientists call for designating one half of our planet as protected areas by 2050. And this is just joining E.O. Wilson. A, a pair of leading scientists is calling on the global community to spend the next few decades working toward formal protections for at least one half of the world's lands and oceans, warning that as the human population nears its projected 10 billion by mid-century, several species will face a heightened threat of extinction. Mm. The demand, the demand <clears throat> comes in the form of an editorial published in the journal Science on Friday uh, by, in, in, by these two scientists I, I, whose names I can barely pronounce. Okay, quoting their demand. <clears throat> If we truly want to protect biodiversity and secure critical ecosystem benefits, the world's governments must set a much more ambitious protected area agenda and ensure it is resourced. No shit, Sherlock. Given the evidence to date and the implications of an un underestimate to set minimum targets of 30 percent of the oceans and land protected by 2030 blah 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 and to aim to secure 50 percent by 2050. This will be extremely challenging no shit, Sherlock. but it is possible and anything less will likely result in a major extinction crisis and jeopardize the health and well-being of future generations. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, God. <coughs> and then talking about, uh, this is their review of uh, the UN's one of their one one of the UN's uh, bullshit targets. The editorial calls present conservation targets woefully inadequate in terms of pre preventing the extinction of species and safeguarding key ecosystems. Uh, Anyway, guys, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just getting, uh, just getting so sick of this shit. You, you, you know, just, just over and over and over again. These goddamn guys uh, know, know goddamn well that there's no fucking way uh, that one bit of attention is going to be uh, paid to their little demands. They know exactly how fucked we are. I, I mean, I just don't get it. I, I, I mean, why do why do you know these these people like Eco Watch and Manga Bay and, and all of these people continue to uh, publish the, this unadulterated horseshit when they know fucking well uh, that that it's a joke. It, it's like demanding that uh, Sancho Panza curl up with a fucking chipmunk. It ain't gonna happen. You know, this is just whacking off all over. I mean, what is the purpose of this shit? 
anyway moving on uh, from that unadulterated horse shit let's see what's up next we go from horse shit to no shit <coughs> Greenpeace links forest destruction for palm oil to name brands no shit Sherlock Greenpeace says global consumer brands continue to buy palm oil from companies that are cutting down rainforest despite repeated pledges to clean up their supply chains. No shit, the environmental group said in a report released this morning that 25 palm oil producing groups it has investigated destroyed more than this is about 300,000 acres of uh, primary rainforest in Indonesia uh, for palm oil going in their products since 2015. Um, they include giants such as Nestle Corporation, PepsiCo, Unilever, and Colgate Palmolive. Uh, some 16 major consumer goods companies made a joint commitment in 2010 to end the buying of palm oil from producers who are destroying forest. But they have been repeatedly criticized for lack of progress. Uh, Greenpeace said the commitments on paper had frequently been used to create the appearance of taking action without actually making real changes. No shit, Sherlock. Yes. Anyway. Okay. Well, I guess uh, I'll be going back to EcoWatch. The many hazards of toxic algae outbreaks. <clears throat> this summer, the Environmental Working Group is tracking outbreaks of potentially toxic algae across the U.S. We have been startled to find that these toxic algae outbreaks are erupting everywhere from the East Coast to the West Coast, from the Great Lakes to the Gulf of Mexico. Though outbreaks of algae vary in type, severity, and health hazards, all toxic algae ha outbreaks have serious consequences. Every summer, people fall ill following exposure to algae outbreaks. Exposure can be caused by contact, ingestion, or inhalation. Hmm, long-term exposure can lead to cancer, liver failure, and sperm damage. Keep breathing the algae, sperm damage. Some studies have even linked ingestion to brain con inflammation. Yes, okay, what's next? in our little hodgepodge here. I think this headline says it all. BPA free plastics found to be just as harmful as regular plastics. No shit, Sherlock. A new study published in Current Biology has determined that BPA free plastic products are not safer than other plastic products. <clears throat> La -da -da -da. Okay, what is the White House up to this week? White House sets new direction in bio defense strategy. The Trump administration yesterday released a new biodefense strategy that it said 
takes a more comprehensive approach to preparing our nation for deliberate biological attacks and natural outbreaks of infectious diseases. Yes. The goal of the strategy is to more effectively prevent, prepare for, and respond to biological threats, which the document said are, quote, among the most serious threats facing the U.S. and the world. Ha! Huh. Biological threats emanate from many sources and they know no borders. They have great potential to disrupt the economy, exact a toll on human life, and tear at the very fabric of society. Okay, well, if the biological threats don't get you, how about those, them solar storms? Devastating solar storm is a matter of when, not if, warns UK's Met Office. A devastating solar storm which could wipe out communications on Earth and fry power grids is now a matter of when, not if, the head of the Met Office's Space Weather Monitoring Center has warned. Yes, okay. What else we got here? Huh, how about this one? From solar storms to microplastics entering the food chain through mosquitoes. Anyone who is, is still denying we're, uh, that we're living in the twilight zone. <clears throat> How about this one? Mosquito larvae have now been observed ingesting microplastics that can be passed up the food chain, researchers said this morning, potentially uncovering a new way that the polluting particles could damage the environment. Uh, microplastics uh, litter much of the world's oceans, hard to spot and harder to collect. They can seriously harm marine wildlife and are believed to pose a significant risk to human health as they move through the food chain and contaminate water supplies. Now researchers from the University of Reading believe they have proof for the first time that microplastics can enter our ecosystem and our bodies uh, via mosquitoes and other flying insects. Good God. But, uh, hmm. What can uh, go wrong with this picture? Although, as I've, uh, I've had this rant several times, I am 100% uh, in, in support of this project. <clears throat> Woolly mammoths will roam new Jurassic Park style theme park with cave lions and extinct horses within 10 years, Russian scientists say. Long extinct, what, what could go wrong with this picture? <clears throat> Long extinct cave lions may be about to rise from their icy graves and prowl once more alongside woolly mammoths and ancient horses in a real life Jurassic Park. In less than 10 years, it is hoped these fearsome big cats will be released from an underground lab as part of a remarkable plan to populate a remote spot in Russia with Ice Age animals 
cloned from preserved DNA, experiments are already underway uh, to create the lions and ancient horses and are seen as a prelude to restoring the mammoth. Uh, there you go. Scientists insist we will see the miracle return of woolly mammoths inside 10 years. Okay, we actually have some good news from the shithole country of Mexico. Mexico stops hotel project at Sea Turtle Nesting Beach. Environmental authorities in Mexico have denied permits for a proposed hotel near one of Mexico's most important sea turtle nesting beaches on the Caribbean. The 520-room hotel project would have erected 23 buildings on property just inland from Kaisel Beach, north of Tulum. Uh, the project would threaten the site with the largest observed nesting of sea turtles on the entire Yucatan Peninsula, but of course uh, nowhere in this article does it mention exactly what the federal government is going to do about uh, the beaches going underwater in a few years and the fact that all the baby sea turtles being born are now female. But give credit where credit is due. But as long as we're in the shithole country of Mexico, how about this for a story directly out of the Twilight Zone? A Mexican state ran out of room for corpses, so they stored them in a tractor trailer. Authorities in the Mexican city of Guadalajara have resorted to storing corpses in a refrigerated trailer as the country's spiraling drug war fills up its morgues but residents are outraged as the stench of dead bodies permeates their neighborhoods. I guess those reefer trucks aren't doing too well. Uh, I, I don't have time to get into this uh, very uh, strange story coming out from NPR. NPR the Cassandra Curse, why we heed some warnings and ignore others. Why we heed some warnings and ignore others. Uh, I don't exactly know what warnings we are heeding. And God damn it, and I see I wanted to wrap up uh, this uh, this rant in one of those shithole in the shithole country of Sudan, I believe. But it looks like my computer has eaten it. Oh, here we go. Okay, we're gonna wind up in our planet's youngest shithole country. Uh. South Sudan troops raped and killed while peace was being pursued with staggering brutality. South Sudan government soldiers and allied militia targeted civilians by raping them, burning them alive, running them over with armored vehicles and hanging them in trees even as the government pursued a new peace deal 
to end a civil war, a new Amnesty International report says. And you can uh, draw your own dots between that headline and the uh, skyrocketing number of sub-Saharan Africans getting their black asses to Honkyville. But anyway, <clears throat> I've reached the end of my procrastination. It is time to crank up my gas-sucking lawnmower for the first time in almost four months. I think it's been right at four months and uh, get out there and getting her done and then I am going to go on an orientation uh, to see if I with my five years of college and, and real estate licenses in three states see if I can land an eleven dollar an hour job here in the end times and I can assure you you will be getting updates about Hambone's uh, pursuit of gainful employment, which is about as hilarious as Hambone's pursuit of a Doomer chick, as uh... anyway, smoke them if you got them. We all know why. Bye, guys.